Hello everyone, like a Maniac 316 and 316 here, whatever you want to call me. Today we'll be taking a look at the Shock Blue Xbox controller. This came out in the year 2020, retails for about $65 US. Uh, I got this on sale during Black Friday. Well, it wasn't Black Friday, but it was within the week. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box first. Uh, very typical box for the Xbox box. Uh, you know, it's got the controller on the front and the name, and then, of course, Xbox. Very minimalistic, usually how Microsoft does it. Top of the box, same thing, minimalistic. On the right, says what it works for. It works for every current up-to-date console. So, Series, XS, One, Windows 10, and Android, iOS as well. It includes a controller, two, two AA batteries, and it actually has a 14-day free trial of Game Pass Ultimate. I gave it away, though, so you won't see that in the box here. And then on the back, it goes over some of the features that you will see in the box. And then on the side, it's got a very nice blue, um, just look at the controller. And then on the bottom is just all the, you know, legal garbo. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this. Just like uh, the other Xbox controller boxes, it opens pretty much the exact same. And you get a nice look at the controller which is custom molded plastic. Also comes with some batteries underneath this plastic here. We got, you know, just the typical, you know, quick start guide here and then just the user manual product guide. Again, just the typical stuff you'd find in the normal box. Uh, you know, no uh, tape used on this box either. It's all specifically folded and then shaped. But yeah, there's a, another look at the box. And then two not for resale batteries. Anyway, that's the box out of the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the controller, which is what you're here for. So here's the controller. It is a nice blue color on the front. On the grips, it is also blue. And then for some reason, they made the back white, whether this was to cut costs or because they wanted to have, uh, you know, just a color difference with the controller. Either way, I couldn't tell you. I'm not a controller designer. Let's go ahead and go over just the overall aesthetic. I, at first, when I saw the pictures of these new controllers, I thought they looked kind of cheap. I'm not a, I'm still not a big fan of this flat top without the, you know, uh, molded indent like on the older controllers. But, you know, over time I've gotten kind of used to it. I. Like I said, still not a big fan of it, but you know, you can always, you know, get this like custom painted or anything. A couple new things, of course, we have to take a look at. Uh, the D-pad, that's probably the most noticeable thing. Uh, it's completely new mold. It's not like the one from the Elite controllers, and it's also not like the one from the original Xbox One controllers. Th this is a clear evolution of the D-pad, and it is fantastic. I've been playing with it for a couple days now, and it's just so much better if you look at it. The edges are raised. So like when you go to press it, you can actually feel, you know, the side that you're pressing, you know, left up, right down. The next major addition is the chair button. It, 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 it works like how it used to where you would double tap this, but instead you just use this button. You just tap once for a screenshot or hold it to take a video. Next up, just some, uh, you know, aesthetic changes. Like I said, there's, this is not indented anymore. The bumpers uh, from the front are actually spaced out just slightly more. But if we actually go to the top here, you'll see that we have a USB-C port now, which is probably the best addition to the controller next to the D-pad. The bumpers are actually a bit wider. Um, they're about a quarter... I think a quarter of a quarter inch uh, larger. So not super significant, but still wider than they used to be. Of course, you got the connect connection button, the Bluetooth there. Uh, the triggers are actually shaped differently. So these ones kind of go up into a curved square or rectangle, rather. They, they, they feel pretty much the same. Uh, However, the, the best thing, they added a textured grip to them, as you can see. It's a nice 
texture. They also did that for the bumpers, but honestly, for the bumpers, it's not as necessary. Speaking of texture, it's all over the uh, bottom section here on the controller and on the white part, as you can see. Anyway, that's probably all the positives about this new controller, but there are a few negatives in my opinion. First of all, if I'm spending $5 for this new controller, why why not make the whole thing blue? You know? Oh, sorry about my finger there. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I really do like this white color. In person, it comes off a bit differently uh, than in video, but while it is a nice white color, why not just make the whole thing blue? Honestly, I think it was to save money. I would have preferred black even. But, you know. Um, the, the only other thing that I've really had an issue with is this battery cover. It's a lot more difficult to take this one off than it is on an original uh, one controller, which we'll take a look at. But it requires a lot more force to it. And you hear there is a click sound. Like I said, I've been using it. So it's th this rechargeable battery does not come with it but uh this this i did buy this rechargeable battery pack uh, a couple years ago and yes it is forwards and backwards compatible it's pretty much the exact same thing but yeah all the typical mumbo jumbo that you would see on a controller and then that just goes on like that otherwise everything's pretty much the exact same with this controller so let's go ahead and get one of the older controllers in here i got the shadow volcano here and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cl it's not easy to tell on camera the difference, but it is slightly smaller. Like, uh, it, it's so minimal, though. Like, it's so hard to tell that this one's slightly smaller than this one. The, the easiest way I've been able to find was at the height of these. The one on the right is significantly taller height-wise when you put it down on a slope. Uh... Also, the the overall shaping of where your hand rests is different. So if you take a look at that, this one, it's a bit longer, and there's like a clear, like, divot here for where the triggers go. And then on this one, this one's a lot more curved. It's more natural. I'd say it's a bit more form-fitting, but I don't really think that like it's pretty much the same they didn't really do too much but yeah this one is more curved and this bottom section is a lot more rounded where it's this one is a more clear divot and is a bit longer but yeah speaking of the battery pack you want to see how easy this is to get off i don't even need two hands i could just use a finger yeah N not even a competition this one's a lot easier to take the battery pack off and it does have the old micro USB port, which is gross. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you the difference between the bumpers. It's 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 not super easy to tell. Let me put them next to each other. You can see that this one's taller, but if I raise this one up, the bumpers are just slightly like wider. And you can see the difference between the triggers here. This one is more squared off, whereas this one is curved. And obviously there is um, no textured grip on there. And something I also noticed is it kind of uses a different like type of plastic. Like this one has more of a matte finish, whereas this one's definitely a lot glossier. I think overall in the long run, the material they used on the bumpers here is going to be a lot better. Uh, let's see, what what else is there to speak about about these controllers? Otherwise, I think uh, everything else is the same. The triggers are the same height. The, uh, you know, X, Y, A, B buttons, same. Uh, the sticks are pretty much the exact same, although the ones on the right have been worn over time. They, they still act the same. Uh, this does have, um, let me find my chat pad here. This does work with a chat pad. So, th this one I bought a couple years ago, but... As you can see, if you put it on the one controller, it fits. And then if you take it off, you can put it on the new controller. And it fits. Oop. Dropped my Mountain Dew bottle. Sorry about that. And yeah, it does work. Anyway, let me go ahead and turn this uh, controller on. And if you didn't notice before, but the actual Xbox button 
instead of it being black is cover colored in blue whereas you know the old school one is all black anyway I think that goes over all the you know just cosmetic changes otherwise uh, I do recommend this controller I think that it is a natural step to you know where we need to be I'd like to see them do more with the controller though like how PlayStation always you know it either adds like a button or the dual sense where it adds like different elements to the controller that can change gameplay but anyway yeah like I said for $65 I think it's a good price however like I said big negatives for me is if I'm spending five dollars an extra five dollars on the on a colored controller why not make the whole thing that color and uh, the battery cover could use some work it uh, like I said very hard to take off it's a lot of force that you need on it but over time I'm gonna assume that it'll get better anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the shock blue Xbox controller and if you'd like to see me take a look at some of my other controllers, like my Shadow Volcano, I don't have the boxes for them, but in any, any case, thank you for watching. Peace.